today i will be presenting to you my biology presentation on the topic of cells and tissues cells and, and tissues both play a very important role in our lives cells are the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms tissues can be defined as the uh, tissues can be defined as a similar uh, group of similar cells with similar structure and function different tissues carry out different functions inside all living organisms but tissues are however divided into two major categories animal tissues and plant tissues the uh, 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 tissues originate from meristematic tissues the cells of these tissues do not have the ability to divide uh, these tissues perform different functions like acting as a barrier between the outer environment and the internal plant tissues and they also transport food and organic substances and water to different parts of the plant number 2 meristematic tissues these tissues have the ability to expand due to their cells that is why these tissues are responsible for the growth of the different plant parts cells and tissues both play very important and vital roles in uh, all living organisms without them living would be impossible of all living organisms cell uh, cell can be either be eukaryotic and prokaryotic as well there are two types of cell animal cell and plant cell cell history uh, so in 1660 in 1655 robert hooke described cell as cork uh, in 1830 in uh, 1838 in 1838 sheldon uh, tudor uh, shewan and sheldon proposed the cell theory which is or uh, which is uh, consists of four main postulates <laughs> types of cell cell may be divided into two types uh, in the, which is based on the well defined nucleus so first of all there are two types of cell eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells uh, they are they have complete nucleus and double bounded organelles they are bigger uh, rather than a prokaryotic cell they are cell wall made up of cell loose chitin and uh, pectin cell division occurs through mitosis cell organelles supportive tissue is uh, cartilages and connective tissue they bone uh epithelial tissues types of uh, epithelial tissues simple squamous epithelium stratified squamous epithelium uh, columnar epithelium serrated columnar epithelium cuboidal epithelium and granular epithelium meristems and permanent tissue are divided into simple and complex simple are uh, further divided into parenchyma parenchyma and parenchyma parenchyma are further divided into fibers and slurids uh, complex tissue complex tissue are further divided into xylem and phloem Xylem uh, supplies water and phloem provides food. In this slide, we are going to discuss what cells and tissues are. To understand this, first of all, we have to understand what cells are. Cells. Cells is the basic structure and function unit of all living organisms. It is considered as the function unit of all living organisms because all the genetics, metabolism, and psychological activity take place in the cell. Now we are going to discuss the historical development of cells. Cell was discovered by the efforts of many scientists, but today we are going to discuss the contribution of some significant scientists. First of all, we have Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke was the first scientist to discover cell in cork slice in a honeycomb, and he found a cork slice type structure in it. He coined the term cell for the individual compartments he found. Then we have Rudolf Virchow. In 1885, in 1855, Rudolf Virchow added an important extension about cells. He called this cell, all cells arise from pre-existing cells. Next. Next we have Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur gives the experimental proof of the idea of Rudolf Virchow. Next we have some fundamental postulates of cell theory. First, that all living organisms are composed of one or more cells. Next, cell is a basic structure unit of structure unit and functional unit of living organism. Cell matter tissue is basically helping the growth of plant, and uh, uh, permanent tissue helps in to control the functioning of the plant. Good morning and assalamu alaikum it's me Tanin Fatma standing in front of you to present my focus with this presentation slide the topic of this presentation slide is cells and tissues which play a great or vital role in building up our body so let's start with the basic if if someone says the name of the cell the first question which comes in our mind is that what is actually a cell so let me describe it for for you a cell is
is a basic and structural unit of uh, structural unit of life or body or organs. There are many components which make the cell able to. There are many components which make the cell the cell able to uh, perform many functions, such as nucleus. Nucleus uh, is a main function. Nucleus plays a main function as like the brain in the human body because it controls all the functions uh, and allows uh, and allows some molecules to enter in the cell. Assalamualaikum. My name is Tisha Kajit and I am from Class 9. Today I am presenting my presentation on cell evolution. Do you all know what is uh, what is cell? Cell is a basic. Cell is a basic unit of uh, organisms and tissue, uh, and all tissue and organ organs are composed of cell. In the cytoplasm and connected to the nuclear envelope. Structure: the ER, uh, the ER is a double membrane consisting uh, consisting of the network of hollow tubes. So, you know, uh, the hollow tubes is holes and sets are called cystinic. Types. Uh, there are two types of uh, endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Good morning and assalamualaikum. I am Kiran Farqa from class 9B. Presenting you this slide share on the topic cells and tissues. Just like bricks are the building blocks of a house, say the cells are the building blocks of a life. Now, cell is the basic hereditary material having a cell has three main parts, the cell membrane, the nucleus and the cytoplasm. The cell membrane surround the cell and control the substances that go into and out of the cell. An organ is a main and very powerful structure that carries out specific activities of for the cell. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sanman Makkar and her name is Safa And today we are here to represent our biology presentation on chapter 4, cell composition. And first I describe first I describe cell. Cell is a structure and functional unit of our life. Cell is also called a building block of our life. And cell is cell either the eukaryotes or pro prokaryotes. And who discovered cell first? Cell was first discovered by an English scientist dropped it in 1665. He discovered a uh, he discovered honeycomb-like structure in a cork slice by using primitive compound microscope. And he also used the trunk cell for the individual compartment he saw. And now suffer describing cell during eukaryotes and prokaryotes. As we know now, Sharma just described about Robert Hooke who discovered cell in the microscope. Now there are the four ways of scientists who also discover cell. In 1831, Robert Brown discovered mucus in the plant cell. In 1838, Sheldon came to the conclusion that plants also consist of cells. In 1839, Theodore Salzman was a zoologist who came to the conclusion that animals also consist of cells. And in last 1855, Richard proposed that the living cells, the living cells are just from pre-existing cells, and he wrote the word. Only cellula e cellula means all cells arise from from cells. Now I will define prokaryotes and eukaryotes. From the Greek word, pro means before and prokaryote means nucleus. The organism which lacks nucleus or without nucleus is called prokaryotes. Eukaryotes. Eu means truly or well and prokaryote means nucleus. The organism which contain nucleus or have nucleus is called eukaryotes. There are two differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are always unicellular, while eukaryotes are often multicell organisms. The DNA is stored in the cytoplasm of prokaryotes, while the DNA in the while DNA in eukaryotes are stored in, in the nucleus. Now, we, now we both will define plant cell and animal cell. Animal cell contain animal cell do not contain cell wall of cellulose. Plants will contain cell walls and cellulose. Animal cell do not contain plastic. And plants plants will contain plastids or pricks. In animal cell, there are few new, few vacuoles are present. In plant cell, there are large number of vacuoles are present. In animal cell, in, in, in animal cell do not have plasmodesmata. In plant cell, there are large number of plasmodesmata. And now Safar describes cell 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 wall and its layer. First cell wall. The cell wall surrounds the cell membrane. The cell wall is responsible for many of the prosthetics that distinguish from plant cell from animal cell. There are three main layers. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tubai and I am the student of class 9. Here to represent the topic, here to represent the biology presentation and the topic is cell and Cell is the basic structure 
Cell is the basic structure and the fundamental unit of life. Cell contains hereditary material which transfer from generation to generation. The British scientist Robert Hooke was the first, uh, first, uh, first person to discover the cell in 1665. He cell organelles. Cell are made of form multiple cell organelles which contain many functions and many structures. Now, cell ribosomes, lysosomes, lysosomes, body organs, and nucleus, mitochondria, and many others. Now, I will explain the main. Uh, three or nucleus. Nucleus is, nucleus is known as the control, control center of the cell. 